We're going to start with that Yale story. This is donor advised funds where people take a lot of their money, get a tax deduction, put it off to the side, they invest it. But it's interesting, Yale said, well, we'll invest it for you if you want. But really, Harvard didn't. Right. <laughs> it's a fascinating sort of subtrend within endowments because, as you guys know, endowments have some of the best money managers out there. David Swenson at Yale is arguably one of the great investors of our time. And so, if you're a rich person, you have a connection to Yale or Stanford has a huge business in this, you think, all right, I'm gonna let these guys manage some of my money. Now the catch is they get to keep most of it. Uh, the colleges do because they're eventually treating it as donations. Oh, is that the way it works? Yeah. Normally in a donor advised fund, you get to direct the fund where to put the money. Say, give some money there, yes. give some money there. You do get to direct it, but the profits largely are going to go mm. back. Oh, the profits. Exactly. So the growth in the fund goes to Yale. Exactly. And so they're doing it for you, but it's a way for you to essentially goose your gift to them. Oh. So do, do you get say then in where those profits go at Yale? Uh, Potentially, yes, oh, okay. because you are, you know, you're an even bigger donor uh, at that point. So you're really a part of the system in a more meaningful way. You know, donor advised funds, as you alluded to, it's a little bit controversial at times. You know, we've talked about them in the context of the big Wall Street banks. Goldman has a huge business in this. Yeah. And, you know, it's a pretty sweet tax setup. Yeah. And, you know, people have, have questioned that a little bit because you do get a, a pretty big tax break and you have a long time to put uh, the money to work. But it's a very interesting thing. Some great reporting by Janet Lauren on this one. Interesting.